if you have young children, you might consider um, showing this to them. This looks kind of fun. This is kind of fun. It's a Sudoku, but it's a four by four. There's only four numbers, four rows, four columns, and four boxes. It's uh, quite a bit simpler than uh, nine by nine Sudoku, and there are other variants like six by six and of course, even more difficult ones like 16 by 16 Sudoku. Uh, but, but this is this one uh, would be great for children. I'm going to just solve it uh, real quickly, and uh, just so you can get an idea of how it works. I mean, it's pretty much the same as other Sudokus, but. Uh, um, at first, I thought, oh, this is going to be really easy. But then I struggled with it for a second. <laughs> but once I got it started, it wasn't too bad. Uh, anyway, let, let's just go through it. Um, and I'll kind of show you what I went through. Okay, we got a 1 here. So we could have a 1 here, or here, or here, or here. Or here, or here. Twos. Two can go here, here, or here. A 3 can go here, or here. It can go here or here or here. And four, well, I can go here, 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 here. Hmm, but how do I get started? I mean, one. If I put a one here, then that would be a one. So then that would be a one. That would work. But what if I put a one here? That would be a one, that would be a one. So, Okay, well that's kind of what I went through until I found uh, a two. Okay, look at twos, we got a two here, a two here. So a two can fit here, here, or here. But if you put a two here, it's gotta go here, right? What if you put a two here? Well, there's no other place for a two to go. You can't put it there, because there's two in this row already. Can't put it here or here. Um, so the only option for two is right here. And therefore the other two will go right there. And then let's see, let's look at one. Well, one, pretty obvious. Just complete this box. Uh, and now we've got a one there and there already, so we the one goes there. So it turns out this is pretty simple, but now we got a we can put a one here. This is pretty simple, but uh, took me a second there once I got when I got started. And then the four in this box has to go there. Four here goes there, and then therefore the four has to go there. And we've only got one number left here, so that's a three. Only got one number left here, three, and same here, three. Okay, so <laughs> not too hard, but uh, uh, the reason I brought this up is, um, or thought I'd do this video, is because um, some of you may not be aware of four by four Sudoku, and I think in pretty much everywhere I've seen 4x4 four four Sudoku in the past, it always says for kids. And I can see why. They're, they're quite simple puzzles. This is actually, um, the skill level um, for this one is considered to be hard. So there are some that are even easier. But for, for younger children, it may be um, a little bit of a uh, trick for them to get it, get it figured out. So I thought I'd share that with you. Um, if you have young children, you might want to try it on them. Uh, uh, real young children, they wouldn't do very well with uh, regular 9x9 nine nine Sudoku, and so this, this might be the trick to get them interested in it. And then as they uh, um, improve on this, they can start working on the harder puzzles and bigger puzzles. Well, I hope, I hope you like that, and uh, maybe leave me a comment. Uh, 
uh, let me know what you think about 4x4 Sudoku or, or about, you know, uh, doing videos like this. And uh, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Now, I, I owe you guys, uh, I said I would do a, um, a hard puzzle pop quiz and a diabolical puzzle pop quiz after I did the medium puzzle pop quiz that I did the other day. So I've got those two coming up here pretty soon. Um, so watch for those. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.